than he wasn't. Sir, the drive belt snapped. We can't go if the prop don't spin. Whoa. Yes, sir. Of course. We can use the belt from an automobile. I'll get one. <laughs> it looked like Duxy couldn't hope to beat that American monkey. Oh. There was no chance of winning now. But then... <laughs> the monkey tightened his rubber band one turn too many. <laughs> this race wasn't over yet. No power! If without propellers, my ship will go wherever the wind blows it. Oh my! Help! Oh no! Chuck Monkey had to help, but his plane couldn't fly. Fortunately, Duxy's ship was still on the ground. He explained the emergency as they took off. But Lieutenant Doxy didn't understand. The monkey ruined his ship, and now he was about to do the same to the Doxies. I got a belt, sir. Come back. But they couldn't go back because they couldn't control the ship. If they didn't get a belt quickly, they too would blow into the Eiffel Tower. <gasps> Clothes for a belt? What a great idea! Thank you! Putting the Baron in an emergency life balloon, the clever flyers used their ship's propellers to create a wind to blow him back to the landing field. They saved the Baron. But they were in last place. Still, no obstacle was too big for Chuck Monkey and Lieutenant Doxy. <laughs> Maybe together they could win this race. <laughs> uh, it wasn't 1909. Huntley wasn't in a race. And his balloon was still stuck. But if it was a dream, why could he still hear his airship's propeller? The fan. It sounded a lot like a propeller. And it looked a lot like a propeller. And if it moved air, it would move things that were in the air, right? Oh. George raced back without the fishing pole because he had another idea. <laughs> and it was the same idea that Hundley just had. George aimed the fan. Huntley barked orders like a famous aviator. Aiming the wind behind the balloon, George could push it where he wanted it to go. Air conditioning is all fixed. Hundley, you're relieved from duty. You want to go to the park and fly that plane, George? <laughs> Hundley had something else he needed to do. <laughs> Won't be needing this anymore. You want it on? Okay. Kind of noisy if you want a nap. It was exactly what Hundley wanted to hear. Because he had some unfinished business back in 1909. With the aid of a monkey, the Duxie is pulling ahead. 
Folks, if they win this one, people will be talking about this victory a hundred years from now.